and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago White Sox going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. I'm a just about set to go now and starting this one Herman Marquez what do we have on him well he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix so for him it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons he may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working but if he can control four or even five of those offerings look out hitters it's going to be a tough day he's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance zips it across and yeah, they take care of Anderson for the out Luis Robert now. Good contact guy, good defender. In there, and it's on one. Well, impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. And they take care of Robert for the out. And there's two away. Jose Abreu up to hit. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. That's through there for a strike. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Bottom of the first. Here's Charlie Blackman. The pitch. And there's the strike. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Next pitch misses. And a count one and two. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Next offering is foul back. And down on strikes. One gone, bottom half of the first. Here's Chris Bryant now. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. And there's two away. Batting third. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. This is a veteran led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but. They've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark. They know how to get down to business. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And gone! Ryan McMahon leaves the yard. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. Base is empty with two away. And here is C.J. Crone. The first baseman. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Out to short. Anderson collects, tosses to first. Chrome retires. And that ends the inning. The Rockies get one by way of the long ball. It's now 1 0. Back here at the ballpark. New inning getting started. Here is Yoan Moncada. There's a strike. Out towards right center field. Gritchick on his way over. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Here's Aloy Jimenez. The left Aloy Jimenez. 
And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball popped up. Iglesias under this one. Puts it away for the out. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Chicago, Yasmani Grandal. Big time power. That one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. And the inning is over. Nothing doing for the White Sox. They're down. Back here in Denver, here's the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. And he deals. The second baseman. Popped up. Anderson moving under this one. And there's one down. Now at the plate, Sam Hilliard. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty to the plate. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count even at one. Kick, and deals. Check swing, but he went too far. One and two. And down on strikes he goes. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Randall Gritchick now. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Line drive, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. Sheesh, Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. On the ground. Now the throw to first on the run. That ends the frame. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's going to be A.J. Pollock. There's a strike. The 0-1. Called strike right there. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. The 1 0. There's the swing and a miss. We got one ball, one strike. Swings and misses, and it's two 1 and 2. Left-hand hitter waits. And a foul ball. Here's a one-two. Foul ball. And a pitch. Lifted in the air, out to left. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. 
Josh Harrison steps to the plate for the White Sox. Josh Harrison. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. The pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Back here at Coors Field, bottom of the inning, and now the catcher comes up to him. Elias Diaz. The catcher. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. And here it comes. Swing and a miss as that one was high. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Pollock under it. Brings it in. Out number two. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Chris Bryant. Flied out his first time. And a foul ball. With two out and nobody on, you want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some thunder coming up behind him. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And that extends the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Pollock settles under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. The Rockies strand one. And welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Tim Anderson. First offering, and it just misses. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Back to the mound. Tosses to first, and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. And now it's Luis Robert. In there for strike one. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two down. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. And now the first baseman, Jose Abreu. Ground ball right side. Fires over to Crone. That takes care of Abreu. And that is that. So 12 up. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. And here's the first baseman, C.J. Crone. Lynn back to work. And that one fouled off. The pitch. And that one hammered. That's back there. Out of here. CJ Crone leads the yard. And they add on. It's 2-0. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Rogers, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. On the ground, right side. Abreu takes it himself, one away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the home run. So up next, Sam Hilliard. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. Right-hander kicks deals. 
That one hammered center field. Back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He sends it out of here, and they add a run. It's 3-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Base is empty one away. Now it's going to be Randall Gritchick. Right Late swing, fouled off. Gritchick. And the right-hander deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Still only one out here in the inning. In the air to left center. Robert racing over to make the catch. Jose Iglesias gets a chance to hit now. Grounded out his first time. Line drive caught. But the long ball was working in this. Back here at the ballpark, here is Moncada. Yeah, the right hander back to work. There's a strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Iglesias makes the play, and there's one away. Now the left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. First time up was a pop out. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. The wind of the pitch. And that's in for a strike. The White Sox still looking for their first hit in this one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Iglesias fires over to first. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Foul ball there. Yo one. Swings through that. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. The 2 Fly ball to right. Gritchick makes the catch, and that'll do it. Down in order. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's Elias Diaz. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Filling up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real issue. And you look at the first inning, that's what we saw. Too many pitches out over the plate. This looks like extra bases. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the Don't game, but that. right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Blackman at the plate now. That's ball one. And the 1-0. And it's fouled away. Diaz at second with nobody out. Offering his foul back. Stays alive. Well, oh, it's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way, just let it travel a hair more. At the belt and fires. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. 
stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. That ball was blasted, Boog, and as broadcaster, we can go weeks without seeing a ball hit 115 miles per hour, which is what StatCast tells us there. Man, he really got the bat through the zone and did not get cheated. Yeah, that ball was absolutely smoked. To short, could be two. Quick feed to second for one, and a run scores on the double play. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. Righty delivers. Right side. Over to Abreu. That's the inning. Through five. It's the Rockies four and the White Sox nothing. Back here at Coors Field, start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton, and leading off, A.J. Pollock. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. He made him pay for that one, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 4-1. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over-anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Now here is Gavin Sheets. That one's in there 0 and 1. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Comes up empty on the swing 0 and 2 now. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. And next to hit for the Sox, Josh Harrison. First pitch, and he just misses. Runner at first with no outs here. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes to count. The pitch. Got him swinging. Now one gone at the top of the sixth. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Brady textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Really nice slider right there. Sweeping across the dish but just couldn't hang the edge. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Sheets at first, one gone. Stays alive. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Ground ball up the middle. That's a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. So digging in, Luis Robert. Fought off foul. And the righty deals. That's a strike. That's strike two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And there's a foul ball. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. And that one handled inning over and it could have been worse but not before they're able to draw closer with this blast it's now 4-1 Ronaldo Lopez gets the call from the pen and he'll do his best to keep this close well, at this point of the ball game we're talking about middle innings and in middle now this ball is well hit this one's got a chance makes the catch up against the wall Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. And first offering is fouled off. Well, this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Kendall Graveman, the veteran right hander, appears to be loosening up. Ruiz warming up as well. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. That's out number two. Two outs, bases empty. Next to hit, Sam Hillier. He's already homered in this game. Check swing went around. It's 0 and 1. The why to kick the pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's 0 and 2. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right handed reliever. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. That is the inning. One, two, three. Top of inning number seven. And now Yohan Moncada. That's in for a strike. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Next pitch has popped up. Crone puts the squeeze on that one. Two away. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. And that's in there for strike one. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Stays alive. That one pulled foul. Bounce to the left side, and that squirts through. Around first, digging for two. Throws to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellence. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. Set for the last half of the seventh. So in now for Colorado, Randall Gritchick. The right fielder, Randall. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Hits the fence. Safely into third with a leadoff triple. Next to hit, Jose Iglesias. The batter number 11. Shortstop, Jose. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Gritchick at third with nobody out. The 1-1. One, one. And now 1-2. One and two. And the pitch. Got him. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Oh, it's a pretty nasty curveball right there. And the hitter didn't look comfortable at all. Clearly fooled. Tried to check his swing and went around. But it would have been called a third strike anyhow. That's how dirty it was. Nice pitch for the punch out. Diaz in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Swings, fouls it off, and he breaks his bat. 
One away with a runner at third. Now this is in the air down the line. Pollock settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that. Runner tagging from third. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. It's 5-1. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. And fouled off. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. He got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. In the air, left field, Jimenez. As this one sized up, puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. And the inning number eight. It's the Rockies five and the White Sox one. Leading off with the White and welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth, and now the DH, Gavin Sheets. Fouled off. He was late. And he deals. Bounce to the right. And that one finds its way through. And the leadoff man aboard. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. To the left side, but it is well fouled. Here's the 0 2. Ground ball could be two. Iglesias, that's one. Return throw to first, and that's two. Here's Tim Anderson. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. A wind in the pitch. Up the middle, sneaks through, base head. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Robert, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. And he'll one. On the ground, right side. They get the force, and that is that. And left for the White Sox. They're down here, five to one. Back here in Denver, now the number two hitter, Chris Bryant. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And there's one down. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. One for three. And that one wrapped foul. And a pitch. Hard hit right side. It's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. At the play, C.J. Crone. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Robert makes the grab. Two down. Man at first, and yeah, the batter now, Brendan Rodgers. Second baseman, Brendan. Check swing, but he went too far. Going one. And here it comes. Foul ball. McMahon off of first with two away. That's ripped. Base hit. And it kicks off the base of the wall. They're waving McMahon home. He'll score, and the lead is up to five. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up in second. Kendall Graveman into the game. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. And here is Sam Hilliard. And first offering is fouled off.
Man on second, two down. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Man at second. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Two outs and one in scoring position. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job. Just couldn't keep it fair. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. So they pick up a run on two hits. Back here at the ballpark. And now here is Jose Abreu. There's a strike. Calling it bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. And a ground ball to first. Crone steps on the bag. One up, one down. Yoan Moncada digs in now for the fourth time tonight. Up the middle, dives, but it kicks off his glove. Safe at first as they can't make the play. So, a man aboard, Eloy Jimenez now. In there, and it's 0 1. Here comes a pitch. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And they're down to their last out. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Is just one strike away. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Ball game. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start. Who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory? But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there. But ultimately, it was an 